Hello, everybody. This is Aaron from the Geeks On Podcast. I'm here to talk to you about board games. Now, this video is not for the gaming hobbyist. If you have a wall of board games like I do, you've probably heard about all these games. This video is for people who have played Monopoly and Scrabble and Parcheesi back when they were younger and they either are sick and tired of it or they never liked it to begin with and they want to try something new. Well, I'm going to introduce to you three board games that are easy to play, they don't take that long to play, have a lot of strategy, and it's per they're pretty easy to find these days. You can even get them in Target and Barnes and Nobles and that type of stuff. So anyway, let's get started. All right, the first game up is Ticket to Ride by Days of Wonder. This is a game you can play two to four players. It's a family game. They suggest ages eight and up but it's very simple and has a lot of strategy. Let me show you the board. Players play a member of high society in the early 1900s who've made a $1 million wager on who could travel the railways of the world the most within one year. Players draw ticket cards with two connections that they must travel between. Each turn, each player draws train cards, hoping to make sets of colors. They will then trade them in to make connections between cities, eventually connecting the cities indicated on their ticket cards. The catch is only one player may own a connection between cities. That's where the strategy comes in, blocking the other player's paths while trying to complete yours. The more of these tickets you complete, the more points you receive, and those with the most points wins the game. The second game I want to talk to you about is Dominion. Actually, Dominion comes in a bigger box than this, but I don't have that box. I have the smaller box. Um, it's a card game that you can play between two and four. If you buy even more cards, you can play two to eight. I don't recommend that. Four seems to be the, <laughs> the best number to play at. Um, it's super fast, has a lot of strategy, and it's like a game you've never played before. In Dominion, each player plays a monarch trying to gain power and land. You start with several estates and little money, and you try to buy and invest in people, resources, and more land. This is how you start the game. Copper, silver, gold, estates, duchies, provinces, and 10 other stacks of cards. Each player also starts with a small deck of 10 cards in front of them that represents a small bit of land and a little bit of money. From that deck of 10 cards, you draw five cards into your hand. Each turn, you use the five cards in your hand to buy cards from these piles in the center of the table, adding them to your own personal deck. Each of these cards will allow you to buy more and more expensive cards later in the game. Eventually, your personal stack will get bigger and bigger, representing your growing dominion. At the end of the game, the player who has purchased the most land cards, estates, duchies, and provinces wins the game. Games can take between 15 minutes and one and a half hour to play, and you'll have so much fun you'll want to play several times a night. Now, right when you think you have a perfect strategy of winning the game, you can change it up by swapping out some of those stacks in the middle of the table with other cards. In fact, the game comes with close to 20 of those types to choose from. And if you want even more variation, you can buy boxes of other cards to expand the game. Millions of combinations. The last game I want to talk about is Pandemic. Pandemic is a game you can play between two and four people. It plays about 45 minutes to an hour. The great thing about this game, it's totally different than anything I've played before, is it is a cooperative game meaning that every, all the players are playing together to solve the game. They're playing against the mechanics of the game. It's kind of like a puzzle in a way. In Pandemic, the players play as one of the members of a disease-fighting team battling several epidemics breaking out all over the globe. Each person has a special role in the group. Now, like I've said before, this is a cooperative game. You win and you lose together. On your turn, you will move around the board from city to city, fighting back diseases represented by these cubes, establishing research stations, and working together to find cures for the four strains. But after each player's turn, you draw an infection card, which will spread more disease, increase the infection rate, and even worse, causing outbreaks. If there are ever eight outbreaks during the game, all the players lose. If the players can work together and cure four diseases, all the players win. So those are three games I would totally recommend. They're amazing. The board game Ticket to Ride, the card game Dominion, the cooperative game Pandemic. It's really great. Check them out. You can get them 
find them online. You can go to bookstores these, these days and find them, toy stores. They're not that hard to find these days. And this isn't gonna be my last video. I've got a whole game wall that I can't wait to show you. Party games, games you can download from the internet and not pay anything, some more complex games, but they're actually pretty easy. Anyway, I can't wait to show you this whole thing. I'm really excited and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.